Hi everyone and welcome to our series of videos tips and tricks in order to get the most out of Stormshield Endpoint Security Evolution or SES Evolution. Today I'm here with Mark Johnson who is a pre-sales engineer to uh, understand the effectiveness of this solution anti-ransomware protection. Hi Mark, how are you doing? All right, thanks. And yourself, Manuel? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Uh, Mark, by the way, uh, this kind of attack, the ransomware ones, uh, have, uh, we all have been in you know, mm. some way or another affected. And mm. by the way, mm. they have jumped uh, by 23% mm. in early 2023. For businesses, it's also very important to know and you know to be aware that they can be attacked and uh, they have to know how to protect themselves. How can, in that case, SES protect uh, you know in a, an effective way from ransomware? Well, SES uh, is an EDR solution. Mm -hmm. It uses uh, behavioral analysis techniques uh, to block uh, critical threats. Okay, like zero-day attacks or unknown attacks, Z I guess. Uh, absolutely, zero-day unknown threats. Uh, SES is an effective solution against uh, these types of, uh, uh, of uh, attacks. Okay, great. And in that case, um, I mean, in practical terms, uh, how does it work, I mean, in terms of blocking? Uh, well, uh, the best thing to do, uh, Manuel, I think, is to see it in action. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Let's go so for it. I've got a, 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 a Windows 10 uh, client yes. here. Uh, where I've applied the default uh, policy that comes with SES. Mm -hmm. And that policy uh, includes uh, ransomware protection. It will block any attempts to delete shadow copies, which uh, we're going to use to, uh, to restore any files encrypted. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, of course, uh, blocks attempts to, uh, to encrypt data. Okay. So uh, we'll launch our uh, ransomware, a ransomware in that case? Uh, attacks uh, on simulator uh, I've got here uh, of a ransomware. So we'll run that uh, and see what happens. Uh, in fact, uh, so now you're launching this, uh, this ransomware demo, okay? That's it. Uh, and we'll see uh, SES is going to notify the user mm -hmm. uh, of something. There we are. It's blocked something. We have an alert. Okay. So uh, 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 absolutely. Uh, if we look uh, here, I've got uh, some Microsoft Office files, and we'll see what has happened to them. And we can see there's one or two files here uh, which have been uh, encrypted. It would mm -hmm. seem they've got some bizarre uh, extensions. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, what we can do, uh, let's see uh, the events here on the agent interface. And we okay, see great. that uh, SES is indeed blocked uh, a ransomware. Okay, this ransomware attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, what kind of information in that case, you know, from the agent or maybe from the console, uh, we can obtain from, you know, to know more mm -hmm. about this ransomware attack? Well, let's uh, have a look at the console now and see what, uh, what that gives us. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, SES console. Okay. So we start with the, the dashboard, which gives us uh, information about our security status here. In fact. Yeah, okay. So we can see so what's come here. Okay, uh -huh. at a glance we can have all the main information that we that That's we need it. for. Okay. So we, we'll just refresh it here uh, mm -hmm. for the log from our agent. So we can see we've got a, a, an alert <laughs> uh, that's appeared here. Okay. Uh, if I click on this uh, alert, this will take me to the logs and we can get uh, more information there. Mm -hmm. So we just uh, wait for that uh, console uh, display to, uh, to refresh. Yeah, it may take a few seconds. Okay, so here's our alert, uh, the log. Our SES is a solution that's completely transparent. I, uh, we know exactly why it's blocked something. Mm -hmm. I can see here the rule uh, that has been uh, uh, triggered okay. uh, in this case. So I know uh, uh, exactly why something has been done. So the anti-ransomware mm -hmm. protection uh, uh, is involved here. Uh, and the, the rule uh, against uh, yeah, ransomware mm -hmm. has been, uh, has been uh, triggered. So uh, with this information, it helps us determine if it's a, a false positive or not. Mm -hmm. If we go back to our logs now, we can see uh, an attack graph which has been uh, automatically created mm -hmm. by uh, SES. And in that case, this graph attack, it's going to like uh, sum up all the information for, for the ransomware? Yes, effectively, this gives us uh, the basis for our analysis to determine if, if this is a, 
mm -hmm. uh, a, a real attack or a false positive, okay. for example. Okay, that's great. And we so can see all here the we can see uh, uh, the ransomware mm -hmm. that's been triggered, and we can see that that action has been blocked and the process uh, uh, interrupted or killed. So uh, SES uh, has stopped this attack. Okay, I think that's very clear, you know, with uh, all the console details that you have uh, provided. So thank you so much for this demonstration uh, on how to uh, block and how to protect against ransomware. And see you in another video on restoring files. Thank you, Mark, and thank you all for watching. Thank you Bye. Very much.